So we're just checking in. This is our room. And here is one of the bedrooms. There's a Turkish coffee maker, big TV. Here's one of the rooms with like a double or queen or twin bed. More coffee making supplies. And I think going downstairs, it's very, there's no handrails, so. No, I mean the wall is your handrail. Yeah, it's tight. This is, this is a cave. It's really nice down here. Wait, I'm coming. I'm also videoing. <laughs> Trying not to fall. No, it's very narrow and very Uh-huh. Whoa, look at this bathtub. It's marbled and very nice looking. You like the tiles? Oh, look at the sink, marble. The view is amazing from up here. So our hotel has one of the higher areas, but you can see other hotels around. This is our um, breakfast spot, a little pods tomorrow. There's a space specifically for taking photos. Um, I don't know where it is. It's in a different building, I think. But yeah, it's laid out really nicely. But you get these views. Love Valley right now. So as you can see, there are very interesting rock formations. And then here, there's there are camels where you can take photos with. Um, and there's also ice cream, drinks. Bye. First day in Cappadocia and we are going to get breakfast I think in those little pods let's see how rainy it is right now because it looks really wet outside it certainly has rained air is crispy but it looks clear so far nope I feel rain okay it is raining <laughs> but not very heavily Are the ponds to eat breakfast in and there's a little fireplace inside how cute and the wreck red velvet some cookies and they have cocoa puffs here and the juice Okay, so we're in a little bubble right here in the middle of a courtyard. It's raining, but we're, we're toasty because there's a heater 
firewood heater. Um, and this is our spread for the beginning. We have a lot of fruit, some potatoes, some sausages. I think that's like fried chicken. Um, and they're gonna bring us savory and sweet pancakes that they make here, which I can show you later. This is where the pancakes are made. Um, fresh. She's making the dough right now and then cooking it on that stove and you can have it with um, cheese, you can have it with spinach, and you can also have it with um, some sweets like banana and chocolate. Basically like a crepe. This is the rock and like it would crumble just like that. So this is the soft clay, soft rock that they would build from, but it's unsafe because with the rain, snow, it's been eroding a lot faster and cracking and breaking in half. So people have moved out after the 1980s. It yeah, takes two hours to break that and then four hours to mold it into these shapes. He makes it all by hand. <laughs> so I paid 20 lira to come see the guy's house. He used to live here until the 70s um, and then he left for a more modern area. Oh, they have lights in here. He had electricity. Yeah. Oh, he had a sewing machine. Whoa. Okay, these walls are not as crumbly as the ones outside. Oh, he had a window. Pigeon house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pigeon. Who was Pigeon? Pigeon. Pigeon. Oh. Four million in poster. Pigeon. Germakir Mardin Kaiser. Poster Pigeon. Oh. Internet. Yeah. British. <laughs> <laughs> Mini terrace. <laughs> These steps are big. Looks like there's another room here. Wow. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi, Nathan. <laughs> All these rooms are connected. It looks like this is a bedroom. Sorry. Oh, it's a crib. Looks like this might be a, another bedroom. This was the door that I said was closed, which looks like it's now closed again. Oh, here's another door that's open. And now we're back up at the terrace.
this carpet, we have different number of nuts which we are tying. This is a carpet which is two material combination. Basic is cotton, the nuts ties by wool, mm. yarns, and then on one square meter, we are counting with square meter, 10.75 square feet, mm -hmm. is she reached 160,000 nuts. Mm. Yeah? This is really amazing job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To this frame, what we have in front of us on this loop, it takes four months of labor. Four yeah. months. She's working five hours a day. And there is also, she starts with the coarser ones first, mm -hmm. with wool, mm -hmm. turns to the wool on cutting. And this is more than five to six years of experience she has mm. done. But finally, when she has really skill of talent, to really tie high density of carpet. We saw it, we trained her against to the higher level. This is the silk carpets. Probably I will show the silk carpets to you as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that okay? Yeah. Yes. the white clay from the mountains from this area uh, by mixing two different types of stones with each other as the kaolin which is a kind of volcanic ash and which makes the clay so sticky we are also adding the quartz inside which is the hardest and the most white mineral in the nature uh, when we add the quartz into the clay that way we can make stronger and also more white pieces actually have you ever been in Istanbul before yeah, in we... Top Kapı Palace, Blue Mosque, by chance. Mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that you can remember. <laughs> Mr. John uh, yeah. has the experience for 11 years, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, he started when he was 16 years old. So he will make us one of these forms. I wanted to make something typical, <laughs> Cappadocia, <laughs> like this, which is the most iconic art piece of Cappadocia. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen this shape before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what is it for? Wine. Yeah, it's for wine. <laughs> Bilal told you than this of course mm -hmm. you just push the pedal and it spins mm -hmm. but it is more difficult to control the speed mm -hmm. uh, this one works manually you can control the speed perfectly but it is not as practical as electrical one that's why we prefer to use this type of wheel for the demonstrations to show the traditional ways and also for special forms that we need to control the speed perfectly like these wine decanters or such big pieces that you can see in the corner we are still using this type of wheel What did you say was in that clay? Is, is there quartz in, the, in that clay? This is terracotta. Oh, terracotta. Uh, this doesn't uh, have any quartz inside. Okay. The white clay ones, the cups, oh, yeah. cups or all the colorful ones oh. that you can see, these are, yeah, they all have the quartz inside. You can also make this on that wheel? Sure. Oh, okay. All right, as you could see, right now it looks like a vase or maybe a flower pot, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have any idea? Let's make brainstorming. So, do you have any idea? Can you imagine how this piece will turn into a ring like this? And there must be a hollow inside. It folds outwards. Yeah, Are you an engineer? Oh. Are you an engineer? Okay. <laughs> No? Not <laughs> that engineer? I thought it would go yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. it Long it tube and then goes together. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, generally, the engineers can answer it perfectly. That's why I asked you that, are you an engineer? <laughs> most important thing about this piece, of, of course, it was a tricky question. So, uh, the most important thing about this piece, I told you before that the original piece is about 4,000 years old. So, think about it. 4,000 years ago, Hittites could imagine and they could realize it. Mm -hmm. And there were no cameras, there mm -hmm. were no YouTube. Mm -hmm. These techniques passed down <laughs> through the generations over thousands of years. It's got to fold over. Yeah. That looks like a piece. Yeah. This 
Yeah. That's the most difficult stage of this shape. Pay attention to this point. Even the most experienced artists can break the clay in this stage just because of a tiny air bubble inside of the clay oh. or tiny stone. <gasps> Put your hands for it. Yeah. He makes it look so easy, yeah, as know. you could see. <gasps> he knows all the techniques. So. <laughs> <coughs> So it's hollow inside. Exactly. So we need to join both sides together. Therefore, there will be a hollow inside, of course, and there must be a hollow inside because such type of pieces are still functional. Uh, no. <laughs> 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 from <laughs> no earthquakes. So this is the last place. Okay. Where. <laughs> Ceramic keeps the temperature constant inside always. That's why mm. you can use it for anything hot or cold. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Now he's cutting it off with a nail from the bottom part of it. It's almost ready. Oh. Ta -da. <laughs> That's how we shape it. It is possible to make it in different sizes. Then we swept the top part of the wheel with another narrower or wider one. Mm -hmm. So we can make different sized uh, pieces, of course. After we shape the ring part, we put two holes on it, uh, like this. Uh, one for the spout, another one for the base. And uh, after we put the holes on it, then we let it dry for a week in the room temperature. And whenever it gets dry a little bit, then we make the other parts. And when the other parts are still wet, we attach them together by our fingers. That's how we create the whole shape. Mm. After we create the whole shape, then comes the other processes that I will inform you in a couple of minutes. All right, I hope that you watch them so carefully uh, because it is your turn right now. <laughs> you want it on here? No, this is it's four perfect. Fingers, please. Two fingers, you like this, four fingers open and slowly, slowly put it here. Oh! <laughs> Wet your hands. Ta -da. <laughs> <laughs> That's All better. Then you wet your hands. Four fingers. Yeah. A little bit more pressure. Very good. Wet your hands again. <laughs> <laughs> You can put your both hands in and make it wider a little bit on the top part. Yeah. Okay. You push the edge down a little bit. Slowly, gently. Very good. I think now you should wear your hand again. <laughs> hey! Now, it's time to give it design on the edge. Right now it's, it's different design. Follow his fingers. Two no. <laughs> Left hand to two finger. Like this. Oh. No. Okay. Yes. And then push down. One push down. Yeah. Oh. Keep doing it. It's easy, right? <laughs> Don't distract me. <laughs> Much better.
Is that the chaser? Oh. <laughs> Touch it. It's hot. Is it? Chili. Chili. Chili? Oh. Uh, spicy. Ravioli. <laughs> Other side, I'm trying to use pottery. Three hours slowly. Come yeah. slowly for three hours if you only use the pottery one. This one is the bread. Bread? Yes. Oh. oh. What happens to that now that you've broken it? Sorry? Now it's broken, what do you do with it? We make the flowers. Flower. Oh, flower pot. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of flower pot. <laughs> Rose. We have a garden in one lake. If you like it, you can take this. Good morning. This is the second day we're in Cappadocia and it is still kind of gloomy, rainy. Um, the hot air balloon was already canceled this morning. So um, we only have one more chance because uh, it was canceled last yesterday too. Uh, so right now we're going to go to the terrace. Um, it's not set up because it is rainy, but there's probably other places I could just show you the view and take a quick photo. The, the, the lighting is actually not bad, so um, I figured we can still go because we're not very hopeful that it's going to work out tomorrow. So, um, yeah, let's go. So our hotel is split off into two uh, buildings. There are bridges connecting them, as you can see. Um, the breakfast terrace is on one side, which is on our building right here, but um, the the fancy terrace is on this side, which is where the reception desk is. So we're going to go up there and take a look. Oh, there's also this area right here, which is really cute, too. I took a photo, like, the first day we got in. These are all little hotel rooms. Um, there are 15 rooms here total. Um, it was the old cave house that they converted into... A hotel and they up here <laughs> and every morning they're um i think they said either aunt or cousin or somebody would cook breakfast for all of us so here's the tarp i think this is probably where um the whole thing would be set up oh look a wagon, that's cute. Oh, they have solar. <laughs> but you can see that there are other cave hotels here. That one has a little covering. Um, but yeah, look at the view here. Really cool. So I'm going to take a photo here. And then I'll ask about when they'll maybe set this up. Because we only have one more day. So I don't think we could do higher balloon and that. But we'll see.
rainy on and off today, so not the greatest weather, but hopefully we can still do a little hike. Just notice that they have a little mosaic on the ground that looks kind of like their carpets. Hello, good morning. You coming inside, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's our second day breakfast. Have a chocolate plant cake. Close the door, but the cats are trying to get in. See? So the rain stopped for a little bit while we're here. We're driving to Alara Valley right now to do a hike and to see the monastery. Um, and it is way clearer out here than in um, Gurame. So hopefully it'll stay clear so that we could do our hike. But yeah, it's really pre pretty out here. It's actually very different than the rest of uh, the things that we've been seeing. So there's not the caves, there's not chimneys, it's just uh, mountains and flatlands. We're inside the kitchen and there are tons of these tendory cooking areas and they all kind of go up to this chimney up top but there are tons of these and you can see the black soot kind of all over the place because that's where the fire went after cooking in the tendory There's a, there's a sheep in there. Oh, it ducked in. They're really good at climbing. Oh, so he went in somewhere. Yeah. And then... Yeah, maybe like over here. Yeah, we go in. Oh, baby goat. Oh, they will activate him. Oh, yeah. Hello. 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 So we just got in to the bottom of the Alara Valley. Um, one of the top areas was closed for innovation, so we got dropped off down here. So instead of a one way in, one way out, we're gonna do an out and back. But we're walking alongside this river. Um, it's really pretty and peaceful. It is a little rainy, um, but small, small drops. And um, the path is still okay. We're gonna try to hit the tea house on the walk and then reassess whether we want to go further but it is really far <laughs> tea we're currently going to saint george church which is up these many many stairs um, it's going to be up there. The church is inside the rocks, or the mountains. So we got to the tea house. There are chickens, and duckies, and juice, little, little stands everywhere. Um, and also more seating this way. But yeah, that's where we get tea, and it looks like they have wine as well. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like an emu.
So we're inside the underground um, city at Kaimakli and our tour guide from yesterday told us to follow the red arrows to go down and then I think the blue arrows to come back up. But yeah, it's a very narrow area and there are like a lot of different pathways that connect it. The first floor is all um, animals and then there's also food storage on the second level down and it goes down I think pretty far but they've cut it off to only four for safety so it's very steep here oh, here's the living room It's our third morning here. I have an omelet with nothing in it. Well done. And bread, lots of spreads, cheese, fruits, and our pancakes are coming. Also hard boiled eggs. We're eating breakfast and then all these little cats in our bubbles. This is a phone. So I have to yell at them. No. And little one right here. But they're, um, they don't belong to anybody. We saw one running into that cave right there. Um, so I think that's probably why they live since they, they're stray cats technically. But yeah, we're in this bubble and they can easily get into that door even if it's closed because they slide their paws in. Nathan has a Turkish coffee, Turkish tea, Turkish juice. Now they're all in here. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't do anything. The white one's is scared. It's looking around to see if anyone's watching. I don't think it's okay that I do this. They said we can't do this, guys. Okay, maybe if I just. No. Oh. <laughs> So we're walking towards downtown now. And even in Grame, there's a ton of stores. Um, they're mainly either food places or like jewelry or souvenir shops. This one has is a shoe place. Yeah, everywhere we go, we see like a lot of these mosaic lamps. Really wanted to get one, but it looks really difficult to bring home. And so we're going to go up this way to see it. Going up here, there are some hotels, some cave hotels. Um, it gets pretty steep, but it is, it's not steps. So if you have strollers or something, you can definitely still use it and go up here. So we're not at the highest point yet, but it still looks really cool from here. So, okay, so we got up to the top and the view is really nice. It is very cloudy today, but it's not pouring and it's very clear. So this is overlooking Cappadocia and Yukisar is on the other side. On this side, you can see a different 
angle of the city across there actually i think is the hsr and um, we're going to keep walking looks like there are some uh, photo taking locations this is one of the further locations on the lookout point at the sunset tepesi hill And our hotel's in this direction. And Yuchisar is over there. So on this side of the hill, there are more trail walkways that you can go and see. But they're all looking into the valley here. You just get it from different angles. So we're in the lobby now, waiting for our shuttle. It's a really nice place. Their Turkish hospitality is spectacular. And so we have apple tea, also known as tourist tea, and also a Turkish tea over there, and some cookies. Um, this one has apple and chocolate. There's a special gate for US flights and that's here but there's a sign that also says UK and Canada flights also need security so um, yeah just make sure you come to the right gate because there's a lot of Turkish airline um, counters look for the one that says US flight looks like there is a ton of luxury stores in here we'll see what the price is, is of our mountains or if they even have anything So I'm going to the lounge really quick and then we have to head out to our gate because it's actually quite soon. The security took a little bit longer and then the passport control also took a long time, but this place looks really big. And there's a duty-free store in here. <laughs> there's a piano in here. But thing mm -hmm. yeah. little cushion. Ready to go home. Um, we got through global entry in like two minutes, super fast, no papers, no anything. So yeah, super fast. Um, but we're waiting for luggage and um, our third person on the trip, which um, she doesn't have global entry, so <laughs> it's gonna be a little wait. But yeah, it's good to be home. I'm a little tired because it's supposed to be nighttime right now. So um, hopefully we'll stay awake till uh, sleeping time so that we can get back on schedule. 